Hello, the viewer. We are inexorably approaching the celebration of Halloween, and the darkness descended on the wild terrorist lands again. Animals were cursed and turned into zombies. Well, I suggest to understand together how terrible it was to live after this update. First, let's look at those unholy monsters. There's the fox, the boar, the wolf, the bear, and of course the carnivorous pumpkin, the main element of the holiday. Do you know what is the key feature of these unholy zoo? From their heads, you can extract the green brains of zombies. It is recommended to extract it with a knife, no matter how good a surgeon is or how sharp your knife is. The chance to get brains depends only on the level of the victim. Of course, the green brain is still useful, but we will discuss this later. In the meantime, continuing the theme of animals, it is worth mentioning that the effect of poisoning, which can be imposed by our four-legged zombie friends, has been added to the game. Victims of poisoning will lose their stamina very quickly, so it is better to try to avoid such tests for the body. Well, I think it is time to get back to the extracted brains, so the green brains can be used to exchange for valuable prizes through the auction on the tab Events. I see how interesting you are to know what these prizes are, so I will not torment you. For example, you can get the Witch Hat. In fact, it is light armor, but with a bonus to the speed of movement, which is logical because it is a witch. But it's more for girls, and for boys, there's a pumpkin hat. In addition to the funny appearance, the helmet has parameters of heavy armor, and the player with a pumpkin instead of the hat, there will be a bonus to a blocking with a shield. Both hats have several quality options, so be careful. But that's not all. Added a variety of unholy pets, and they can also be obtained by exchanging brains at the auction. Well, at the end I prepared jack-o'-lanterns. The thing is that it's uh, not quite ordinary lanterns, and it have a clear purpose. In general, let's stock it and go to the wild tarot lands. So, see these Halloween trees? It's here for a reason. If you hang three lanterns of one of them, you will be able to get acquainted with the guards of the tree. Unfortunately, you will not be able to have a long friendship, because they need to be killed in order to get opportunity to proceed. Those after completing decoration and, accordingly, the destruction of all the waves of gods, you will have the opportunity to get a sprout of domestic unholy tree, which will later be useful to you for the construction of a decorative building with a similar name. Well, if you are not lucky, you'll have to settle with comforting green brains. But holidays are holidays, and the game needs to be improved. So here's an express block for you that does not concern unholy animals, pumpkins, witches. Well, you understand me. Added a new template of wooden fort. All built forts were rebuilt automatically. Implemented display of the guild name on the guild stone. Changed the size and colors of the interface fonts and slowed the display of messages. All fonts have become larger and brighter, and messages remain longer. And finally, the craft menu has been redesigned, layout logic has been changed, number of items has decreased, and navigation has become more intuitive. I've told you about all major changes. Thank you for watching, and see you again. <laughs>